Hi, I'm Lorna from Wearably Weird, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to loose lace your Nike Dunks. Now, this pattern does follow the standard pattern all the way up until the final two eyelets here, and then it swaps to the loose lace style. So it's a really easy pattern to follow. Keep going along with it and pause the video as much as you need. Start by taking your lace and feeding each lace end down into the very bottom eyelets of the sneaker on each side. Now you want to be feeding the lace ends down into the eyelets from above, not up from underneath, if that makes sense. So just feed them in like this. Pull them tight and then make sure your lace ends are of equal length. Take a minute to adjust them. Very hard to get that right on first try, so well done if you did. Cool, now once they're in equal length, pop this one out of the way. If you're still adjusting yours, then pause the video and come back to it. Keep a hold of this lace end and we're gonna bring it across the sneaker tongue and up into the next eyelet up from the bottom on this side, from underneath this time. Just like this, pull it through, making sure there's no creases. And pop it out of the way, swap to the other one. And we're gonna bring it across the sneaker tongue and up into the second eyelet up from the bottom up on this side from underneath, just like we did then. Then we're gonna keep a hold of this lace, bring it over the sneaker tongue and up into the third eyelet from the bottom on the other side, pulling it through nice and straight, swap back to the other one and we're gonna do the same. Bring it across the sneaker tongue and up into this next free eyelet. Then we're going to keep a hold of this one, take it over, bring it into this eyelet here. As you can see, I've stuffed a pair of socks under the sneaker tongue here. It helps get a really even straight lace for the top of part of this pattern if you want to do that. Or you can shove your foot in the shoe and do that instead. Up to you. Then swap back to this lace, take it over and up into the next eyelet here. Now, at this point we're reaching the tongue loop. So when you get to the eyelet that corresponds to the tongue loop, you want to make sure you're feeding this lace in through first, just underneath there like that. And then up into the next free eyelet from underneath, just like we've been doing. Now the tongue loop will show up depending on the size of your shoe. So if you have a bigger pair of shoes, it might not be in correspondence with the fourth eyelet up, it might be the sixth or whatever. So just make sure to double check where it is and feed it through at the right point. And we're gonna bring that one through on top of the other and up into the next free eyelet here. Looking good. Now, once we've completed the tongue loop on the sneaker, this is where the style changes from a standard style to a loose lace style. So watch very closely at the difference here. We're gonna keep a hold of this lace and the second eyelet down from the bottom, you want to go into it from above this time, not up from underneath. So make sure we pull that lace in from above, swap to the other one, and we're gonna do the exact same, down from above into the second eyelet from the top this time, instead of from underneath. So just make sure you've got that bit right. Then we're gonna keep a hold of this lace and now we're gonna go into the very top eyelet from underneath this time. So we're going back to doing it from underneath, the last one. And the same with the other lace. And then here's the little trick that makes it a loose lace style. We're gonna pull this lace back out until you have around about an inch or two of lace left, whatever you like. So pretend to think that looks good. Then pull the other one, same on the other side. So you've just got a little bit of the lace sticking out, make sure they're looking even. And then with all this extra lace, what you're gonna do is just literally slip it behind the sneaker tongue and it'll just rest on top of your foot when you slip your feet into the shoes and it shouldn't bother them too much. But once that's nicely tucked out of the way, you'll see you have a really crisp looking loose lace style. If you found the info in this video helpful, please hit the like button to help it reach more people and consider subscribing for some more sneaker content. Thank you.